Okay, so yesterday we started talking about the area of a right triangle. So over here I have what we figured with our um, investigation, and we took a square and placed a right triangle on it, and we determined that this right triangle, it takes two of them to make the square, and so the right triangle is exactly half of the square. So half of a right triangle, it takes two of those, two right triangles, to equal a square. So half of the right triangle, okay, in order to find the area, we found that we need half base times height. Okay, the area of a right triangle is half base times height. All right, so it's half because it's exactly half of the square. All right, so if we want to write this above, half base times height equals area of the right triangle. All right? So we're going to use that formula today in order to find the area of the right triangle. Now remember I said you can use your calculator if you need it. All right, number one. So we need half the base, and here it's kind of, it's turned around. So remember, we have to find the line that is perpendicular to the base. So this, I know, is perpendicular to this line because of the square corner, or it shows the right angle. So we've got the height and the base. So the base is right here. So the base is 31 and 2 tenths, and the height is 9 and 1 tenth. So when I multiply that, I've got 31 and 2 tenths times 9 and 1 tenth, and that gives me 283. So 283 and 92 hundredths, and we want half of that. So we're going to take that and we're going to divide it by half. And we've got 141 and 96 hundredths. 141 and 96 hundredths. We have to go back up and look at the measurement. Centimeters squared. All right. So we took the base times the height and took half of that in order to get the area. All right. So for number two. Number two, we've got the base and the height. We've got the perpendicular line right here, so we know that this is the height. So we've got half of the base times the height. Now, we're going to have to change this into an improper fraction. So we're going to go ahead and write this as 5 over 1, because that's the same thing as 5 whole, or 5. So then we've got 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 fourths. And what I did was I multiplied and then added in order to get my improper fraction. Then I can go ahead and multiply across. So I've got 75, and then I've got 2 times 1 is 2, times 4 is 8. So I've got 75 eighths. Well, I know, it's a basic fact, 8 times 9 is 72, so I know this is going to equal 9, and I've got 75 minus 72, which would give me 3, and then I've got to keep my eighths, 3 eighths. 9 and 3 eighths, and I've got to go back to my measurement, kilometers squared. All right? Easy peasy so far. All right, so let's go on to number three. So again, we have half base times height. So we've got half the base, and I see here's my perpendicular line, so I know this is my base. Two and four tenths, 
times my height, which is three and two tenths. So when I multiply two and four tenths times three and two tenths, I get seven and 68 hundredths, and I need half of that. That's gonna give me the area. Half of this is gonna be, this is three, half of, half of seven is three, then we have some left over. Eight, 84 hundredths inches squared. And you can check that with your calculator. All right, number four, again, half base times height gives me the area. So I have to find my base. Well, I'm looking for my perpendicular line. Here's my perpendicular line. So there's my height. This is gonna be my base. So half 60 times 11. All right, half 60 times 11. Well, I know that when I multiply 11 times six, I get 66, and then I just put a zero on the end. So that's 660. So that's half of 660, which half of 660 would be 330. Go back up here, millimeters squared. All right, last one. So this one's upright. This is perfect the way it is. So it's easy to find the base and the height. We've got our perpendicular line right here. So we've got half base, which is 10, times the height, which is 13 and one third. So we're going to take half and we're going to write the 10 as 10 over 1. And we're going to write 13 and one third as here's 3 times 13, which is 39, plus one more is 40, so 40 thirds. Then we go ahead and multiply this across. 1 times 10 is 10. 10 times 40 is 400. 2 times 1 is 2, times 3 is 6. So we've got 400 sixths. So I'm going to take 400 divided by 6. And I know there's going to be a remainder, but I've got 66. So I know I've got something to start with. So now I want to find out, well, what is 66 times 6? And that's going to give me a clue. Okay, so I've got 396. So if I take 396 out of here, I've got 4 left. So I've got 4 sixths, which can be reduced. So it would be 66 two-thirds feet squared. All right. So there is the problem set. What I would like for you to do is I would like for you to work on the exit ticket. And I want you to, um, they're, they're just like these. They're pretty simple and just like these. But if you have any questions about them, I want you to email me or um, send me a text on Remind and I will get back to you. So the exit ticket looks just like these. Um, there's not much difference. So I think that this is pretty cut and dry and you may use your calculator when you're figuring the answers. All right, keep watching, keep thinking, always stay curious, and if you have any questions, get a hold of me.